What's up guys? Today's video, it's not about hot sauce, it's about tire sealant. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to upgrade your wheels in less than 10 minutes. Before we get started here, let me introduce you to the guy who developed the product we'll be installing today, Corey Bainey. Corey loves riding his one wheel and he's so confident in his tire sealant product that he's willing to do this. We can open this, we'll kill it. Oh, look at that. Gosh, that stuff. There we go. Oh, that feels nice. Let's do it. Corey lives in Miami, Florida, where he rides year-round, putting thousands of miles on his one wheel. But if you're familiar with Miami, the streets can be dirty, causing flat tires. So Corey developed a solution for that, and that's what I'm installing here, armadillos. The streets of Miami can also be dangerous, so make sure to stick around to the end to see Corey catch a criminal in the streets of Miami on his one wheel. Armadillos is a military strength tire sealant that comes in several formulations. It boasts being the best sealant in the world, being able to seal up to half-inch puncture defects. We'll do a little tread wall and sidewall action here. There we go. That's happy. Let's bury that thing down in there so you can definitely see that we've got it nailed. Stick that in there. Nail set to go into the tread here and let's just bury that bad boy all the way in. I feel like, uh, I feel like it's time to, let me see here's, let's just, all right, I'm gonna let some of that goop get down here. Look at that, I've already heard it stop leaking there. So, uh, let's stop leaking there. Because Corey was tired of time-consuming and expensive tire changes and calling Ubers to get a ride home, he set out to find the world's best tire sealant. After much experimentation with every brand and type of tire sealant, Corey found a few common things that worked well, but no single sealant had the correct mix of all the right factors he was looking for for his e-devices. So Corey was compelled to make his own ultimate tire sealant. That's how Armadillos was born. Corey offered his first batch to some close friends and to other riders. A month went by, and people started noticing how well the tire sealant was working. They wanted more. Now celebrating their first year in business, Armadillos is known by many riders across the one-wheel, e-scooter, and EUC world. Tube or tubeless, Armadillos can do it all. Armadillos uses a mix of long Kevlar fibers and aramid pulp, which, under magnification, looks like tiny little feathers. When you get a puncture, those long fibers form a net which catches the feathers and then the various sizes of rubber particles get trapped in that, forming a patch, forced in the puncture, sealing it from the inside out. Armadillos has so many fibers and particles that it needs special flow agents to make sure the sealant keeps fluid while inside the tire and doesn't ball up inside. Picture a perfect light coat of substance throughout the inner wall of your tire or tube with a small excess freely moving that keeps you protected even after dozens of punctures. In the one wheel tire, or in tubeless tires, half inch holes seem to be the limit. With tubed tires, armadillos can seal up to quarter inch size holes or so. Armadillos offers four product lines. There's red for the one wheel, there's green for EUCs and bikes, there's black, which is for a specialized whisper tire for the one wheel, and then there's blue, for scooters and other high-speed devices, such as high-speed electric unicycles, going over 30 miles an hour. I'm interested in this product mainly because Armadillo's tire sealant seems legit. It's very easy to install, and I was able to do it on my One Wheel XR, my Kingsong 16S, and my Gotway Tesla, all in about 30 minutes for the three wheels, and that included messing around with my camera gear and getting the right camera angles to make this video. Corey has a great product with Armadillo's tire sealant. With Armadillo's, punctures and flat tire issues will be a thing of the past. Corey calls himself a problem solver, and that shows with his passion to solve his flat tire problems caused by the dirty streets of Miami. In addition to the trash littering the streets of Miami, sometimes there's trash in the form of reckless criminals that are causing problems on the streets too. And that's where Corey was able to ride to the rescue on his one wheel and help stop this hit and run. Only on six new video of a would be hit and run crash that left a pedestrian injured. However, the driver accused didn't get too far thanks to a skateboarder that just happened to watch the whole thing unfold right in front of him. NBC six anchor Dan Grossman explains. 
all of a sudden uh, see a uh, car and a cloud of smoke and a loud bang over here on the sidewalk. It started with curiosity. I heard a big bang, so I walk outside thinking it was a car accident and a guy had took off and there was a guy laying on the floor lifeless. Then curiosity turned to concern and concern to condemnation for both Sean Alarcone and Cody Bainey the moment they saw this. A driver hit someone Sunday night in Wynwood. The surveillance footage is graphic, so we freeze the video before the moment of impact. He wasn't complying. Uh, had no intention of complying. Was acting very, you know, lost. Cody was on his one-wheel skateboard at the time and decided to willfully insert himself into the situation. You can see him riding the board right here at the top of the screen. He says he chased down the driver for three blocks before using the board to smash the window, turn off the car, and hold down the suspect. Had he not, police may have never had the chance to do this. I used the board to strike the window, uh, broke the driver's side window out of the vehicle, uh, reached in, shut off the key, put the vehicle in park. Police didn't say much other than confirm there was a hit and run. So who will love this product? Anyone who's had problems with a flat tire in the past or anyone who has concerns about getting a flat tire will find peace of mind with armadillos, which is great for new tire installations and on existing tires. What do I think about armadillos? The one wheel comes with slime already installed. While I've never had a flat, I've had plenty of people contact me via social media asking about how to fix a flat tire on their one wheel. So I know that slime is not a perfect solution. While slime is less expensive than armadillos, E-riders will find armadillos more attractive knowing that it was specifically designed with their needs in mind. My electric unicycles do not come with any tire sealant pre-installed, so I use the red version, which has the best tire sealing abilities on my first electric unicycle, the Kingsong 16S, which never goes faster than 25 miles per hour. I also use the red, which is recommended for the one-wheel XR. For my Gotway Nikola, which is my go-to wheel, this wheel here that I'm working on, I'm putting in the About blue, the which has the similar ceiling protection as the red, but is designed for wheels that go at faster speeds, speeds higher than 30 miles per hour. While I rarely, if ever, ride that fast, I'm going to put in the blue just because I can. Now for the flaws. Not much to report here. The video demonstration that Corey does on his own one wheel tire is very convincing. The product is more expensive than others on the market, but you get what you pay for. Riding with the sealant never caused my wheels to feel unbalanced or unsteady, so I have no other issues or flaws with armadillos to report. If anything changes, I'll update you guys on my blog, oneradwheel.com, where you can find an updated review on armadillos. Thanks for watching, and remember to wear your safety gear. Oh, look at that. Is it gonna stop leaking, or? Look at that goop drip. All right. And just like that, it stopped leaking. So, so. God, isn't that terrible? Look at that. Just, wow. And so we're gonna let that settle in there for just a second. And um, if you look at this, we don't have any leakage. The stuff bubbles up reasonably well if there's leakage. Don't worry.